Hi everyone, a bit of fresh content for you today. Speed Triple RR. Uh, when I first saw this Newcastle Motorcycles, I fell in love with the look of it. So I thought, right, let's take it out. So here it is, my little ride review. There it is, one stunning motorcycle. So now let's get a bit closer and check out some of the components on this bike and how thick the paint is on. It's stunning. Look how deep that red is. Mind you, it should be. It's an extra £200 for the red paint job. Nice touches of carbon fibre. It looks quality carbon fibre. Look how thick the paint is on them wheels. And Brembo style of my calipers. I mean, the trick bits are just everywhere. There's that beautiful red paint again. And check out those indicators. I mean, even the indicators ooze quality. I mean, look at that tailpiece. This is just a beautifully drawn motorcycle. Now we're getting back down to some expensive components here. This is this super funky, smart, all in suspension, front and rear, fully adjustable electronically through the dash. Speaking of dashes, let's take a look. Just like the rest of the bike, you've got a beautiful TFT dash. Everything on this bike's beautiful. The only bit I'm not over keen on is why when you've got such a big dash and you put the indicators on, it takes out. Obviously on the left hand side it takes out your time and on the right hand side it takes out your ambient temperature. I mean look at the size of that dash and I couldn't have kept a little space for the indicators. It does make me laugh. And on your right hand handlebar you've got a little home button which takes you into the dash and then on your left hand handlebar you've got a little tiny joystick that takes you down through all your multitude of settings and there is a multitude of them and it's very easy to work even though there's a lot to it it is very easy to work thanks to the little tiny joystick you've got And then on the left hand handlebar you've got your mode button which you press and there's your different modes and you can just flick through them. Now, I don't know if you can notice but under the neutral there's a little cloud for rain and it's got a little tiny helmet next to it. It means that I've modified it for my own purposes. So I've got it set up for me for my lovely soft suspension settings. I've just picked road there and there we'll go so we're on road super soft suspension settings simple as that dead easy and it's even polite goodbye so let's head off for a little sound check so you can really hear how cool this bike sounds Just in case you missed that, here it is starting to get the full belt of that triple engine. Let's have a little bit of spec talk now. So 199 kilograms, wet, so that's obviously it's curbside weight just under 178 bhp and 125 newton meters of torque 
pulled like a train, which is why you buy a triple. Now at five foot ten, I would say I'm average height for a, a guy. Probably slightly slimmer than your average 52 year old. But don't let the riding position that go on about on this motorcycle put you off. Yes, the handlebars are low and the foot pegs are high, but I found myself rather comfortable and happy on this bike. It's definitely not bothering me. And I've emptied a full tank of gas today. So while we're on about riding position, we may as well do our now infamous sitting test. So here I come, 5 foot 10, 32 inch inside leg. As you can see, those handlebars are quite low, so you are pulled forward onto the bike. Foot pegs, that's not such a bad sitting position. I mean, my leg isn't bent too far back. Uh, I find it comfortable, as I've mentioned before. 830 millimeter seat height, so it's not a bad seat height. Bike's very thin, so your legs go straight down, which you'll see in a sec when I put my foot down. I get both feet flat on the floor, slightly bent leg. So a good riding position for my height and build. And as you can see, I love it so much, I have to have another look as I walk away. Proper beautiful motorbike. One thing I did notice the first time I rode this bike through the town was the gear lever. It must have something to do with the quick shifter actuator. Because when you're coming up to the lights or coming up to the roundabout and you're just double checking you're in first gear, it feels very flexible. It's not very nice, it's quite off-putting for me. Uh, and that's something I thought, hmm, not over keen on that. But I'm sure I'll get used to it. Another one of my pet hates is suspension that's too firm. We live on horrible roads, so let's have plush suspension, please. I mean, this suspension is mega adjustable. So yeah, standard settings for track days, yeah. Leave it nice and firm, but on horrible, bumpy, twisty country lanes, let's have it nice and soft. So I backed it right off. Now it's working lovely. Really plush suspension, now it's on the softest settings, which makes me happy. As I was saying, I absolutely love the look of this motorbike and there's a few bits that I really don't like but when you use them a different way so you don't use the clutch, you just use the quick shifter you give it a bit of beans rather than just hanging around and the suspension starts to graft and work it is absolutely brilliant a brilliant bit of kit but you have to ride it, ride it, it works poodle about on it, it doesn't. Do hope you've enjoyed this little bit of content on the Triumph Speed Triple RR and hopefully we'll see you soon for the next one and don't forget if you like what you see thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. The more subscribers the better it is. Thanks very much. Bye for now.